Welcome everyone. Today we are going to cover some core concepts of a relational database. So let's start with what is a database. Very simply said, database is a place to store data. It is a collection of information. And the best part is that we see databases every single day. I know you don't trust me. So let's take a look at few examples. And here are a few examples. Your shopping list is a perfect example of database. You have a list of things that you want to buy along with the quantity. Your credit card statements. We all dread seeing this at the end of the month. But credit card statement is also another example of a database. You can see exactly where you spent your money and unfortunately how much you spent your money. We all love making to-do lists in the morning. We love to kick off our days and I'll tell you that even a simple to-do list is an example of a database. So really what I'm saying is you can create a database on a piece of paper. You can create a database on your computer. Now as you can imagine computer is always a good place to create a database and let me tell you why by explaining to you the concept of a database management system. Creating a database on your computer allows you to manage large amounts of information. Now I have an admission to make. I love online shopping and Amazon is my platform of choice. As you can imagine, Amazon has over 350 million plus products. There are new products that are added every single day. There are products that are also removed and there are products where prices change. There could be discounts. There could be some offers uh, that go on these Amazon products. Can you imagine making all these changes on a piece of paper? It would be impossible because it would take hours, days and years to manage, manage this kind of information. Therefore, to manage this information, such as adding new products, changing the price of product, you need a software which is called the database management system. Now, database management system will allow you to create and maintain database. It will also allow you to handle security so that only certain people can access certain information. It will also allow you to back up information. Remember, you can lose a sheet of paper that can have all your passwords stored. Yes, I know people still store passwords on piece of paper. Please don't do that. But again, database management systems allow you to back up information. And finally, it can allow you to import and export data. You can create reports and visualizations to understand the behaviors, the buying patterns of your users, your database information in your database can also be surfaced on the website for you to look at the product and get all its attributes. Now let's talk about another concept called the CRUD. This is a very important concept. It will be used over and over again in relational databases. It might also be asked in interviews and CRUD is a very simple concept. It is nothing but an acronym that stands for create read, update and delete. Now let's take a look at the example of Amazon and try to understand CRUD in the Amazon.com example, right? So you create products that will be C. You read products, right? When you're accessing information through a website, you're reading information that is available in the Amazon.com website. Now, if Amazon decides to update the product description, update the price, you would use the U, which is the update of CRUD. And finally, if you wanted to remove certain information from Amazon, you would use the D, which is the delete of the CRUD. You learned a lot of important concepts today. So let's try to recap everything that you learned. We learned about databases and we learned that database is a collection of related information. We learned that databases can be created on a piece of paper and it can also be created on computers, but computers are great for storing databases. When you create databases, you need a software called database management system that will allow you to create and maintain databases and it will also help you to keep your databases secure. You also learned a concept called CRUD where C stands for create, R stands for read, U stands for update and D stands for delete. That is all for today's video. In the next video, we'll learn some more concepts on relational databases. See you soon.